Hello and welcome back to the Watchman Channel. This prophetic word comes from Chris Bennett, Rotterham, UK. The air is thick with revival. Ready or not, the air is thick with revival. We have an excited expectancy in our spirits. The Holy Spirit is on the move and fires are beginning to burn. The wind of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach of God, it's blowing. Can you hear it? Can you feel it? Listen, for it's in the whisper of the Holy Spirit that the power of God is released. The Lord uses the Holy Spirit at Pentecost every year as a springboard for revival. Revival among those who will receive and welcome him. Again, this year, watch Pentecost, the 28th of May. Watch it. Revival is available to be loosed. Take hold, receive, and be blessed. Now, I know full well that many have been prophesying revival for probably a decade or more, yet there's an urgency and excitement and expectancy in my spirit that will not be denied. More and more, I'm seeing pictures in my spirit of revivals long past. I'm being reminded of events from those days, even recent events like Toronto and Pensacola. People being healed as they pass buildings where meetings are being held. People coming into those meetings without a clue why they're there and meeting with the Lord. Events that we've all read about many times before. Yet the most vivid of these scenes passing through my mind only serves to remind me of the price that people have paid for revival. The total wrecking of all their well-planned schedules and events. Praise and worship with people on their feet for hours. Prayer and ministry stretching one meeting into the next, often all night long. Spontaneous healing, deliverance, salvations. People bringing their criminal tools, laying them all at the altar. As William Booth said to graduates from the Salvation Officer training, be like a gun, go off, loaded or not. Yes, revival is coming, ready or not. Hallelujah. Let's pray into this word, my friend. Heavenly Father, we declare revival in our land. Revival, Father, in our country, in our community, across the nations of the world, Father. We thank you that revival is being loosed. Lord Jesus, cultivate in us a desire to see our well-planned schedules and events totally wrecked. Lord, that we wouldn't hold too strongly, too firmly onto tradition, onto format, onto function. But Father, we would make room for the Holy Spirit. We would make room for the Holy Spirit in our days, in our church services. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for this word from our brother Chris. Lord, may we see revival break out, Father. May we see it break out, Lord, in a way that we haven't seen it before. I thank you for praise and worship. I thank you for prayer and ministry. I call forth the spontaneous healings and deliverance and salvations, Father. Lord, that hearts would turn to you. The people would throw their their tools, our brother says, their criminal tools, they'll lay it at the altar. Lord, we thank you that you are turning hearts around, that revival is breaking out across our cities. And Lord, we pray, we pray that your word be true, that your kingdom come, and that we get to play a part. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.